Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write java program to sort an array in the ascending order so guys the elements will be sorted in such a way that is the smallest element will appear on the extreme left so this is the meaning of sorting an array in the ascending order an array of elements which is of the data type that is numbers so let's say for example we have this original array that is 5 2 8 7 1 so these are the numbers which are not in ascending order we need to sort them in the ascending order so after the array is sorted in the ascending order as you can see these are the numbers in this sequence that is 1 2 5 7 8 so the smallest number will be on the extreme left then the next small number will be on the right then the next small number will be again on the right and so on so this is the ascending order that we want to have using our java program so guys let us switch to eclipse ide over here and write the program in order to sort an array we will be basically using the two loops in order to sort the array in the ascending order so first of all we will be defining our array so int array and then we have open and close square brackets and then we will initialize this array we will take the same example over here so 5 2 8 7 1 we will provide these numbers over here 5 2 8 7 one guys you can also use the scanner or buffer reader classes in order to take the input from the user and assign those input to the array over here and the process will be same the algorithm will be same in order to sort the array so basically over here what we are going to do is first of all we will print the original array over here so that before sorting we will be able to check what is the content of the array so we have the print statement over here and i will say original array and then colon over here and then we will be using the for loop in order to iterate through all the elements of the array so inside the for loop we have int i it is equal to 0 i less than array followed by dot and then we have something called as length in order to find the number of elements in this array and then we have i plus plus and then inside this loop we will be having our print statement this time we will be using the print method instead of print ln so that we get all the elements on one line so basically what we have to do over here is we have to refer to this array followed by open and close square brackets and inside the brackets we are providing this i variable which is iterating through all the elements inside the array followed by the space character so that all the elements can be space separated now after this we are going to have our algorithm in order to sort the array so guys we will be having two for loops over here the first for loop will be the outer for loop in which case int i is 0 and then i less than the array length so we have array dot length over here and then i plus plus so outer loop goes through each and every element starting from the index 0 and inside this we will be having another loop that is the inner loop in which case int j it will be equal to i plus 1 which means that i will be 5 initially and the jth value will be i plus 1 which means 2 initially so every time using the outer loop the outer loop will be fixed on one particular number and the inner loop that is j will go to each and every number so first 2 will be checked and we need to check whether this 2 is it smaller than the first element that is 5 or not if yes then we need to replace them and then again it will go to 8 and it will check whether this 8 is less than the first element or not in which case it will be 2 after replacing this 2 and so on we have to check all the elements one by one so over here j is equal to i plus 1 and then j goes up to the array length that is array dot length over here and then j plus plus now guys inside this we need to check if this array of j which means the second element is it smaller than array of i so we will put the condition over here array of j is it less than array of i so in this case if array of j is less than array of i which means that the smallest number should come first over here we need to interchange the numbers over here so what we can do is we can have the temporary variable so i'll just define the temp variable over here in which case it is zero right now so what i will do is i will simply swap the numbers over here so temp it is equal to array of i in this case and then we need to put array of i it is equal to array of j so we are just swapping the numbers over here we are assigning the array of j value to the array of i value and then again back 
the array of j value should be given the value of array of i which was stored in the temporary variable over here so array of j it will be equal to temp so guys this we have already seen previously while creating the program in order to swap two numbers and this is the way we will get the smallest number on the leftmost side so using these lines of code over here we can simply sort the array of elements in the ascending order guys this is not one of the most optimum way in order to sort the array it does the job of sorting the array when you are having the small number of elements in your array in the upcoming videos we are going to see the optimum ways in order to sort the arrays in the ascending and descending order so you should subscribe to this channel that is programming for beginners in order to get more helpful videos about the different java programs and now what we will do is after this for loop we will simply print the content of the array which can be done by using these lines of code so i will just copy these lines of code over here and i'll paste this over here and i'll say sorted array in this case so it is sorted array and then i goes from zero up to array of length and then we are going to access all the elements using the array of i element and now let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see original array it is 5 2 8 7 1 and then sorted array is coming on the same line what we can do is we can provide the slash n character over here so that it comes on the different line and one more thing that we can do is we can use the print method over here so that the numbers are listed on the same line where the label is present so over here we will use print statement and over here as well in the original array we will be using the print method let me just save this file and try running this code once again so as you can see original array it is 5 2 8 Eight seven one, which is not in the ascending order now we are getting the sorted array that is one two five seven eight let me just put another example over here we'll change the content of the array so let's say 32 45 6 87 and then 12 and then let's say we have one so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see these are the numbers 32 45 6 87 12 1 and we are getting the sorted array that is 1 6 12 32 45 87 so guys as you can see these are the numbers that are in ascending order and every number that is on the right is greater than all the numbers that are present on the left and that is why it is called as the ascending order of the elements so guys in this way we can easily write the java program in order to sort the array in the ascending order so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is a java program to print pyramid star pattern so stay tuned